Well, good morning to you, Greg. Glad you're up so early with us, as uh, to our viewers as well, who put up with the, the downpours yesterday. My goodness. Let's look at your first weather report of the day. This one brought to you by Colin Doig Personal Real Estate. It was not your imagination. That was a wet one. The wettest day in more than nine months. January 3rd, we had 54 millimeters of rain. Yesterday, 39 at the airport, 40 for downtown Vancouver, 47 millimeters of rain in White Rock. It was wet everywhere. Okay, that's over and done with now. So we're looking at a new pattern with that system moving on to Towards the interior regions and a flat high pressure ridge beginning to build offshore that bodes well if you're hoping for a drier trend because we get a few drier days in a row right through the middle of this week. We can see right now there's a lot of leftover cloud, low cloud. It's a little misty out there, almost a bit drizzly. Rainfall amounts will be negligible for the first couple of hours of the day. Then it clears. We're at 11 degrees in Abbotsford. It's on the mild side, nine for Pitt Meadows. We're aiming for a high today of 13 degrees. So lots of cloud cover now. The breeze picks up shortly and skies begin to clear. Should be a beautiful afternoon. Tomorrow we'll roll out a similar forecast minus the breeze. It's partly sunny and a dozen degrees. Thursday clouds over. It's still dry. There's only one other wet weather day between now and Halloween. Look at that. Some showers on Friday. Back to sunshine for the weekend and a bit of a chill in the air. We might have some frost all over again in that long range forecast. Thor, good morning to you. How's your Tuesday so far? Not bad. Really foggy on the way in as I was yes. going up Camby there at the, the top of yeah, a couple hill. of misty spots around the region just to start out the day. Yeah, looking pretty ominous behind you there. But uh, thank you very much, Russ. We'll talk.